Hey guys, welcome to the second lecture of CRISPR series. If you haven't gone through the first lecture of CRISPR series, I would strongly recommend you to have a look on that. Link is provided in the description box. Please subscribe my channel if you do not want to miss a single lecture of Brush Up Your Concept series. In the last lecture, we have learned that CRISPR degrades DNA. But how? To know the mechanism, you have to acknowledge Cas along with CRISPR. Because in the DNA degradation process, Cas helps CRISPR. Now, CRISPR is an RNA. Cas is a protein. It is actually a nucleus that cuts DNA. Cas binds CRISPR and forms a complex. That is why it is called Cas, CRISPR associated protein, because it gets associated with CRISPR. Suppose this is our DNA and this is the target site. That means you need to degrade this part and case is required to undergo this degradation. But how does case recognize the target site? Here CRISPR comes. CRISPR is called guide RNA as it guides Cas protein to the target site in the DNA. Target site is complementary to guide RNA. So, CRISPR starts to scan the DNA and finds its target site. Once it finds its target site, Cas nucleus breaks both the DNA strands at this spot. Cells try to replace that break. They try to repair, but the process is very much error prone. Hence, it introduces mutation that disables the gene. This makes the gene inoperative, results in gene knockout. But CRISPR is not only used for gene knockout, it is also used to edit, activate or repress the gene. It is even used to visualize genomic loci using fluorophores. These are the applications of CRISPR. We will learn about them in the next session. If you liked my lesson, please do like, comment and share my video. Thank you.